and we drove it all the way around America and we got back and we needed to sell it. We had a week left. What's up? So welcome to welcome to HI Santa Cruz. So this is our little piece of paradise on top of the hill, on top of Beach Hill in Santa Cruz. If you fall out of bed one way, you land on the beach. If you fall out of bed the other, you land right downtown. Well, Santa Cruz Hospital has been around since 1977. Seven. So yeah, and then we've been on this spot since 1994. Hey, what's up? Nick Hanalupo, filmmaker here, also known as Singing Wolf. Just hanging out in Santa Cruz. Just got here. It's a sunny, beautiful day. Just hanging out at this hostel, Hosteling International. Just met. Laban from uh, the Wolf Pack over here, another beautiful soul traveling the world, telling the story of of peace and doing good for people, and just following that warrior path. And I'm gonna give him a sound bite right now. <laughs> yeah, my name's Laban. Yeah, from the Wolf Pack Project. So I thought it was pretty cool when I met this guy, singing Wolf. And we're here with these two cool guys. We've been sleeping in dorms. <laughs> right? What's up? What's up? And uh, we rode into Santa Cruz. I think we all fell in love with it here, and we we're like so, like just sharing stories of life really and how to get through it and how awesome it is to be here and today what, what are we gonna do like these guys gonna go surfing 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 and chill exploring surfing exploring gonna go explore some stuff right yeah and get a coffee because that's what i'm gonna do food, man. and basically that's it man. <laughs> yeah so i bought a car when i was 18 i drove around australia yeah, and loved it and then i bought a I flew to Europe and bought a bus, and we decked the roof, and then we drove that around Europe, three of us. Okay. Um, in America, we bought a four-wheel drive, Truck Norris, drove that around America. <laughs> um, it was sick, it had 18-inch chromes. It was really dope. <laughs> Chuck but the Norris. thing about all these cars, right, you're buying a car for a thousand bucks, so you're looking at it and you're going, okay, that's gonna break, that's broken, that's... Can this make it like 500 kilometers? Yeah, it probably can, all right thousand bucks I'll take I'll just roll the dice I'll see where this car goes we'll see how far it makes you know the car if you pick the right car it never dies it just keeps on going <laughs> it wants the story too it wants it as bad as the rest of it right, let me cut in put me on it just keeps going. Going. so I bought a minivan in, in 2011 I bought a, a white Chrysler Grand Voyager back in 2011 Eight hundred dollars. I fixed the back brakes. I drove it across the country three weeks. Lived in the minivan for about four months in California. All right. That was there like my go. first trip in Cali. But then the, the automatic transmission started to go, and I had books and guitars and tools and clothes in the back. And I said, "All right, automatic transmission, drive, shift, drive, and it, then it'll start to go, or it won't go, or it'll go. But once once it's going, once you're on the highway, it'll just keep going." And so I said, "I bet." If I just drive this straight back to Boston, I can get all my stuff home without having it stuck out in Calvin. Like, uh, that was my first big road trip, so I would love to jump in another one. I'm Dude, down. I'm down. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. I'm, how long it's take to, to find a time to find a fucking... Like, I'm, I'm ready for this. I, I believe it? in this. Well, I am. I bought a van in a day and drove to Vegas. And then we drove it all the way around America, and we got back, and we needed to sell it. We had a week left. No one thought this van would make it. It was 1500 bucks. We got back, and we had a week to get rid of the van, because we wanted to fly to, I think it was Costa Rica. And we're like, how are we going to sell this thing? Like, we, we don't want it to just be here, stuck on the side of the yeah. road. Like, we're at a friend's house. What are we going to do? I'm like, mate, Bolly, just put it online for $999. <laughs> that thing will be sold by the end of the day. And... They're like, Matt, you exaggerate. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, just, just try it. $999. We had six messages within 20 minutes. <laughs> like, it was ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. Like, a couple people came and looked at it. The car was a mess. Like, you had to get in the passenger door and unlock the driver's door so you could get in. Like, we're trying to sell this thing. And they're like, oh, what's wrong with that, that wheel? It looks different. Oh, yeah, that one's a bit, that's a bit broken. Uh, it's leaking a lot of air, so that's underneath, but we've got a, that's a spare. It's a great spare. Fix that, and then you got your chrome wheel back. They're like, okay, that's cool. Uh, where's the arm hold? Oh, that's in the back. <laughs> Handbrake? Yeah, that's broken, but you can put a rock under the back tire. That kind of keeps it in the right place. Like, no one wanted this thing. The, the sixth person rings, so there's three other people in line to come look at the car. The sixth person rings, my mate Puller goes, Matty, I've got Bruce on the line. He's pretty keen on the car. I'm like, Bruce? Bruce, who's that? <laughs> no one's called Bruce. I like it already, Paulie. He's like, all right, well, Bruce is a mechanic. I'm like, oh. The transmission's 
shot. Like it's done. It's wrecked, right? Like we know it's wrecked. I can't sell it as not being wrecked. I got to be honest. I'm like, all right, tell him to come around. And you'll have a laugh. He comes around. <laughs> Bruce pulls up in his car. He's like, <laughs> isn't it? I'm like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like, I like it. I'm like, what do you mean you like it? He's like, oh, I like it. And I'm like. Okay. He's like, how do I get in it? I'm like, oh, you got to get in the back door. <laughs> Shimmy your way across oh and open God. the driver's door. Or you can just climb through. It's up to you, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce is like, that's perfect. I'm like, what do you mean, Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, does this window work? I'm like, nah, but that one does. And if you open the back corner one, you get a bit of airflow through the corner. He's like, that's awesome. I'm like, Bruce, it what is going on here? Are you having my leg? He's like, my son just wrecked his truck I bought him for his birthday. Oh. Yeah, I can't, I can't. He's got to get to work. I'm not driving him. And I've got to get him something that's going to teach him a lesson. Oh my I'm like, Bruce, goodness. you have found the perfect car. Your son's going to love it. He's like, do you mind if I take it for a lap? I'm like, nah, Bruce is flying around the road. I'm like, I think we got a sale here. <laughs> Comes back. He's like, I'll give you 600 bucks for it. I'm like, what? He's like, transmission's pretty bad. I'm like, yeah, but it's 999, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, I'll come back with 300. We got a deal? I'm like, we got a deal. Yes. 900 bucks. Oh, Done. Shit. In a day. In a that day. That was awesome. Bruce. That's crazy. Yeah, so it happens, man. So we're going to get a van. Who's it's going to be sick. It's got to be big enough for four people. What do we want? We just decide what we want and then put it out there and then the we'll find it. Yeah, no kidding. And go somewhere. Let's get together.